Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I've got a pressure cooker and it's really good for cooking all sorts of things. Soups and risottos and potatoes. You can cook anything in it. But it comes with this cookbook and in this cookbook, they've got a carbonara spaghetti recipe. And I had a look at it and I thought, gee, that looks all right. And it looks really easy. So I thought, I'm gonna cook one of these from the instructional book in the pressure cooker to see how or if it actually does turn out. I'm really excited to try this recipe because it's really easy. Now these are the ingredients I'm using today. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Is water an ingredient? Let me know down below. Now I'll be saying the ingredients along the way. So let's start preparing this spaghetti carbonara. Oh, I can't wait. Now this is a Phillips pressure cooker. And what I want to do is get the saute happening, which is this one here. And the saute thing just hits the inside of this up like a frying pan. So into there, I'll add about a tablespoon's worth of olive oil. That's one clove of garlic. And this was one small onion, which I diced up. If you haven't got one small onion, then use half a medium onion. Anyway, there's just one more thing I need to cut up. That's the bacon. <gasps> now, I could have pre-cut this bacon for you all, but I know how much you love bacon, so I thought I'd show you me cutting it. It's pretty hard to do. Right, that's done. So we'll add all that bacon in with the onions and garlic. And we want to cook this for about 10 minutes. Get some colour on that bacon, colour in the onion. Oh, and the smell of that is putting a smile on my dial. Alright, well that's been cooking for about 10 minutes and that looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, yum. Well, that's the hard work done. It's time to finish this off. So, I've got 200 grams worth of spaghetti here. Now, I need to break this in half. Ugh. And I'll flay that into the pot. 540 millilitres of water here. That's plain water, straight from the tap. Although originally it came from the clouds. And here I've got a nice thick cream. Oh yeah, I love it nice and thick. I need 180 millilitres of this. That'd be just over half this jar, a little bit more. And we just mix this all together. Probably should have put the water and cream in first before I added the spaghetti. That would have been the smart thing to do. That's probably why I didn't do it. Right, well, that looks pretty good. So all I need to do is put the lid on, find the stew button, hit that. Now, I want to change the cooking time. So I'll hit that then I'll go minus on that one that'll change that to 20 now I click the cooking time button again and then again and then that changes that to flashing which I will then turn up to 30 and hit start Whew. man that was complicated and you also have to make sure that this valve is set to the seal position I wonder why it was called seal position. Why wouldn't it have been called dolphin? Anyway, uh, now we just have to come back in 30 minutes when the timer goes off and it should be ready. Well, let's hope it is. Now, one thing I'm really interested to find out is if the spaghetti sticks together. You know how if you don't stir it, it, you know, it sticks together in the pot? This will be very interesting to find out, so stay tuned. All right, well, the half an hour time has just gone off, so it should be ready. So I think we need to release some of the steam. Oh, boy! And let's take a look inside. Whoa! Boy, I hope that spaghetti's cooked. Wow. It looks cooked. That looks nice and creamy. Wow. Looks impressive. Well, I'll just leave the lid off just to let some of the steam come out and let some of that water evaporate out because it was a little bit runny, wasn't it? It was almost like a carbonara soup. Oh, mate, how good does carbonara soup sound? Oh, 
That's a that's I'm I'm going to invent that. But before I do, how about we serve this up? Okay, so here we go. Try and get some of that bacon there. And what would a carbonara be without? Some parmesan cheese. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now we just add some green stuff on top. And there you have it. The Phillips Slow Cooker Recipe Book Spaghetti Carbonara. Let's not forget to add some pepper on top. You might also want to add some salt. But I'll try it first. See what it's like. I'm so excited. Let's go. Mmm. Mate, this spaghetti is al dente. It could do with a bit more salt in it, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty good. Mmm. Good stuff. I might even add a bit more of the cream sauce. Oh, yeah. Yummo. Now, there's enough pasta there for three smallish eaters or one huge eater, but you probably get two meals out of this, plus you could take some to work for lunch the next day. Anyway, it's uh, really worked out well. It's kind of tasty. It's not like unbelievable, but it's still a pretty nice recipe and made in the pressure cooker, it just was so easy to make. Well, there you go, some spaghetti carbonara made in a pressure cooker. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for my next recipe right here on Greg's Kitchen. Right, down the hatch. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen with today. Carbonara in a pressure cooker. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would never have believed it could be done. It was delicious. Ooh, yeah.